Brains. Brains. Ding. Yoop. 60% fewer brains. 60% fewer brains. All right, let's review how to find percents of a number. So we're going to start trying to do this problem, 60% of 300. And we're going to use one of the methods we used a lot, equivalent ratios. So for an equivalent ratio, what I need is first the percent. That is 60. And remember, the number that's always involved in percents is 100. Just as a reminder, what we were always doing is we were putting the part over the whole. Well, for this problem, that 300 is telling me the whole amount I'm dealing with. So the 300 goes on the bottom. And now I have to ask myself, what am I multiplying by to turn that 100 into 300? And that's pretty easy. That's multiplying by 3. So the same thing has to happen up there. And that's pretty easy to figure out as well. That's 180. So that's my answer. 180 is 60% of 300. But another way we did the same problem, 60% of 300, is to use decimal multiplication. And let's just write out a little bit of how we would do that. We want 60% of 300, and we would turn that into well, first off, we've got to convert that into a decimal. So 60% as a decimal is 0 0.60. And we would multiply times the 300. Let's do that a little bit down here. So I'm going to put the 300 at the top. And I'm going to multiply by. And I want to point out something. I don't have to show that last zero right there. I can if I want to. But it's going to make my work easier if I don't. So I've got 0 0.6. We multiply. 6 times 0 is 0. 6 times the next 0 is 0. 6 times 3 is 18. I look around and I see one number behind the decimal point right there. One number behind the decimal point. So I need one number behind the decimal point. So again, I got the same answer, 180. One note, this method, use decimal multiplication, will always work. It may be complicated because the multiplication may be tougher than this. But if you can't do an equivalent ratio, try decimal multiplication.